If I could only grow one group of plants, it would be culinary herbs. After all, herbs are easy to grow, even in less than ideal soil. And during the growing season, I use culinary herbs in the kitchen every day. What's more, herbs are expensive to buy, so it just makes sense to grow your own. I grow herbs in three raised beds as well as in containers, and I often scatter them here and there throughout my veggie garden as well. My absolute favorite herb is parsley, in particular the flat leaf Italian variety. I've got 18 plants in all, and I'm beginning to wonder if that's enough. Parsley is a biennial, so it's best to replant each year. And since parsley seeds are slow to germinate, I buy transplants in early spring. Basil, an annual, is another of my favorites, and this year's crop is looking great. I pinch the terminal growth of the plants every few days to keep them bushy, and I remove the flowers as they appear to encourage more foliar growth. There are dozens of different basils out there, but I'm partial to the sweet Italian variety. Mmm, mmm, pesto, here we come. Life without chives would be dull, and a baked potato without them would be <laughs> meaningless. So I grow a lot of chives, which are dependable perennials in most climates. So long as you keep snipping, they keep growing. Mint, another perennial in my climate, is the most overlooked herb in my book, but not around here. I use mint in all sorts of dishes as well as drinks. This lime mint is perfect for mojitos, and it's especially good on buttered corn on the cob. Seriously! Of course, due to its tendency to spread all over the place, I grow my mint in containers, including this grapefruit mint. Hmm, smells like mint with grapefruit. Thyme is an essential herb in a number of recipes, and I always have plenty on hand including English thyme and lemon thyme. I treat it as an annual, but it may be a perennial in your garden. Rosemary is a must, and the stems make great skewers for scallops. Rosemary sometimes makes it through the winter here, even in pots, but I usually replant each year from transplants. And let's not forget oregano, whether Greek, Italian, or Mexican. Marjoram, which looks a lot like oregano, but I think tastes better, and dill from which you can harvest both the fern-like foliage and the seeds. So whether you're new to gardening or a seasoned professional, don't overlook herbs. They'll reward you with great taste and great beauty with minimal effort. And that, my friends, is huh, sage advice. See, this is sage. That was a way to get out of this piece. Did it work? <laughs>